Beautiful afternoon here out at PV Plaza, which is clearly not seeing its potential as we stand here and speak today. So Steve Kramer, on behalf of the Downtown Council, and myself, Lisa Goodman, representing the Minneapolis City Council and the City of Minneapolis, are here just to talk a little bit about how we got to this point and what's happening going forward. So many of you know the plaza was conduct constructed in 1974, and clearly it is showing signs of its age. You can look around and see that the trees, for example, are particularly stunted for trees that have been in this location for almost 40 years. There's a, uh, all sorts of problems with the concrete, the rebar, but maybe most importantly, the space is just simply not ADA accessible. And that's something that we feel strongly as a city needs to be addressed. And so in 2011, um, then Mayor Ryback, along with the City Council, uh, put some time and money into a plan to redesign and re-envision PV Plaza. And with a tremendous amount of community input and stakeholder feedback, we came up with a plan to redesign the plaza. And shortly thereafter, a small group of people from the Preservation Commi Committee and Commission and community sued the city and demanded that we stop any potential changes to the plaza uh, and wanted us to redo the plaza as we know it. Uh, that litigation went to the point where the plaza was designated a historic resource and at that point uh, the city and its stakeholders were unable to move forward uh, with the construction which would have been done by now i'll note if uh, we had been able to move forward so for the past four years we've been trying to figure out essentially what to do do we want a new vision i think that there are a lot of people in the community that think the current situation is totally unacceptable and we really need a new vision a vision that makes this plaza more green, a vision that makes it more accessible, and brings it back to the days of 1974 when people really saw this plaza as our town square. And so this afternoon, uh, we will be taking bids on a consultant that we will be hiring to try to negotiate what changes can be made in the plaza. And uh, our consultants who are working on the plaza can tell you more about that detail. Uh, we will be doing kind of a yet another study about the existing conditions and try to figure out how we can negotiate with the preservation community to make sure that the plaza is not redone exactly as it is because we've already learned that this plan does not work. But what can we do? And I will note that the Downtown Council, along with uh, the DID, have done the best job they can to activate the plaza this summer. You can look around and see the food trucks in the area, uh, the people playing with various pianos and toys and kids out on the plaza, but it's just simply not acceptable and not enough to leave the plaza in this current condition. Um, so we will hopefully have a plan in place that will allow us to adopt a plan for action by 2016 to have a construction schedule around 2017 for a hopeful grand opening in 2018. I will note that this litigation resulted in a really major missed opportunity because the mall is under construction right now and it would have made much more sense to move forward with the new vision for PD Plaza on the same timeline as the new vision for Nicollet Mall. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but we're committed to making sure something happens and hopefully it will be something better than what you see right now. So without uh, further comment, I'll turn this over to Steve Kramer, my former colleague and the chair of downtown council. Thank you very much, Councilmember Goodman. And uh, I'm just here to say we are very excited about working with the city and other stakeholders on this historic structures report, which as uh, Councilmember Goodman said, is the first step towards really creating a, a new vision within the constraints of the historic designation for PV Plaza. So that's the kind of the mid and long-term vision that we are working on. In the meantime, as Lisa said, the Downtown Council is also very committed to programming uh, PV Plaza this summer, to greening PV Plaza this summer, so we have a large volunteer group coming this Friday to uh, plant new flowers and to really spruce this place up from, a, from a, just an aesthetic standpoint. And throughout the summer, there will be an extensive amount of programming going on, and I'll just mention some of the things just to give you a, a sense of what's going to be happening around here. Uh, you, you know, we've got a lot of talented people downtown. I'm certainly not one of them, but those who can't play the <laughs> piano will have a chance to do so. And we have a student from the fair school who uh, was serenading us before and will do so afterwards. So if, you, if you're if you a piano player, you've got an opportunity to play a piano here. And did you take piano lessons? I did not. I did not either. So, uh, 
beanbag toss. And who doesn't like a good bean game of beanbag toss sometime during the day? Kevin Lewis, I can just I know you're going to be down here tossing Practice. the beanbags. Practicing. Um, uh, we've got books here. There's a bookcase up uh, on the top level of the, the plaza. Northern Spark is going to have one of their events here uh, this Saturday evening, beginning at 9 uh, p.m. Very interesting. An electric playground featuring games like human foosball, the annual right fight with revolver, which I understand is quite a, quite a deal. Uh, uh, and that's sponsored by the DID. We're going to have Core Power Yoga on Tuesdays and Fridays throughout all of July and August. Uh, a fitness court, a course taught by the YWCA, TV Plaza's neighbor just across the street here. The Sister Cities Flag Celebration will be here in July when the Sister Cities Convention is in the town. That's quite a big deal. Uh, free live music uh, every weekday and throughout August. Uh, and of course, the park lot, which uh, Lisa mentioned, will be here all during the summer, one of the projects of the Downtown Experience Committee. So that's a lot of specific information. That schedule is at downtownminneapolis.com slash PV. So if you want to know what's going on this summer at PV Plaza, downtownminneapolis.com slash PV. So we're very excited about what the summer will hold for PV Plaza, while we're also beginning to lay the groundwork for a, a brave new future for this uh, important civic space that can be even more important in our community in the future. So thank you very much. I, any questions? I know we have